What's up party people, it's Zen and Carrie, hashtag Zeri. Some of you guys requested for this. It is our reaction to the Evergreen Experience by PTX. PTX stream their concert about a month ago, but because the timing of the streams weren't very convenient to us, I recorded the show and now we're going to watch it. We're going to release our reactions song by song. Before we jump into that, just a quick reminder to hit like and subscribe to us if you haven't done so already. It doesn't cost you guys a thing, only takes a second and it will help our channel grow. And now sit back, relax and enjoy. Enjoy the evergreen experience with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Well, Louisville, Kentucky, how are we feeling so far tonight? Let's go. Y'all, I am so happy to be back home. I am from Kentucky, so it is so good to be back in my home state, y'all. It is so good to be back. <laughs> also, thank you for giving us our jobs back. It's been a long time since we performed. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. As Scott said, my name is Kevin, and I've been the beatboxer now for over 10 years uh, in Pentatonix. Oh, 10 years! Which is crazy to say out loud, because when I started with Pentatonix, I couldn't do nearly all the sounds that I do now. I mean, when I started off, I had a simple kick and a cheek snare, like... Okay, I just realized <laughs> the monitor here says, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas y'all. <laughs> <laughs> like, you need a script for that, Merry Christmas, y'all. No, I think it's more of like a prompt. Yeah, yeah, it's a prompt. Yeah, yeah so definitely. You know it's a prompt. So when it comes out, it's like... Alright, what am I supposed to do now? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to do my Merry Christmas Y'all bit. Yeah, so it's a, it's a prop. It's definitely just a prop. Yeah, yeah, you, you should never rely on it. Yeah. Because then you will definitely forget what you're supposed to say. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So that's why uh, teleprompters are really dangerous. Uh, ask Ron Burgundy. He knows that. For those of you guys who've seen Anchorman. But it's also really cool that, you know, because this is a pre-recorded concert, we get to see the show from multiple different angles. Of course, nothing beats being there in person where you can actually feel it feel it, and hop around and things like that. But yeah, this is, I guess, the next best thing. Which is crazy to say out loud because when I started with Pentatonix, I couldn't do nearly all the sounds that I do now. I mean, when I started off, I had a simple kick and a cheek snare. Like, lie. <laughs> <laughs> But then as I grew and developed, I added a fuller kick and a bigger snare, so... And then I was able to add more sounds to my drum kit, so like... And now it's been 10 years, I could finally do things like this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's a lie it's because a lie. he was really doing this in the sing off, okay? Yep. 10 years ago, guys. Yeah. Maybe not as precise as now, but definitely he had that in yeah. his bag. Of course, this is playing it up for the audience, but OG fans know that, uh, yeah. Um, Kevin had crazy Kevin, and wicked effects even yeah. back then. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Seriously, so many people told me that beatboxing professionally was crazy, but mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you right now, pursue your dreams, everybody. <laughs> Don't be a doctor. <laughs> tell it to your parents, right? Dad, I do not want to be a doctor. I want to quit Yale and be become a, a full-time beatboxer. Anyway, this next song that we're about to do... I well, I have a little bone to pick with the band because they asked me to introduce this and I feel like it's a little on the nose for me. Little drummer boy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's your brand. It's your brand. <laughs> anyway, if y'all know this song, sing along with us. I love this it. This is called Little Drummer Boy. Little Drummer Boy came out like right after their first album. Right? It was in like the deluxe version of PTX Miss, if I remember correctly. So I love it. This, this arrangement is, is pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course. Um, this, this is, is this the one where Kevin sings? Yeah. The, yeah right? I, the first, one of the first few so, times yes. that Kevin sings. Yeah. Don't be 
Remember if Kevin did this type of beatboxing in the original? Yes. I don't remember it. He he did this. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. I think this is one of the few songs that I listen to a lot that I kind of like know every single part. <laughs> the first few PTX Christmas albums we listened to on repeat a lot. A right? lot. Yeah. A lot. So so we we know a lot of that part. Yeah. So far, very very nice. And once again, you can really hear Matt. Standing out, the bass really holds everything mm, up. It's so pretty. Yeah, he sings sleepers. Yeah, yeah, like, he started out. He yeah, started yeah, off the yeah, song. Yeah. yeah, and back then, uh, because Avi didn't have a lot of leads, especially ones where he like kicks off the song. So this song was a uh, very it's special like, like, <gasps> because of that. Like, oh my god, it's Avi. And then they, then they throw Kevin in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, this part's new. Yeah, okay, so you said this part is new. The beatboxing. The beatboxing is different, right? Yes. It has a different vibe. The original is a bit more chill. Yeah, 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 yeah. As- especially, like, there are certain parts the where... The second verse especially. When Kevin came in with the second verse beatboxing, yeah. it, and it got hyped up, I was like, oh, mm. that feels different. Like, it has a different vibe. Even when Scott came in, how he stretches out certain syllables and things like that, mm. you could feel like Kevin is... Because he's beatboxing so fast, it feels like he's going ahead, whereas... Scott Scott's was like, like pulling. pulling back, like he's holding notes yeah, longer yeah. than uh, he normally does in the recording. So it creates that kind of tension, which you do not, once again, you do not get unless you go watch them live. <laughs> so yeah, let's watch them live. I want to go to a live show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's so nice like seeing them do different things um, mm. on songs that they've done for many, many years. Yes. Yeah. Sing, sing, I have to say something. As much as they are using just five voices, there is definitely a clap track. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I was still hearing the claps and I realised that, wait a minute, nobody's clapping anymore. And obviously, uh, you shouldn't clap 
into a mic because the sound doesn't come out oh, right. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like you know, um, Kevin usually has the, the stomp pad, right? He's still doing the stomping, but I don't think there's a stomp pad there. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You hear the, yeah. the stomping and, and things like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. These are the kind of like concessions you have to do for live performances, but I think, at least for the most part, their voices are still just five parts, especially for their older arrangements. Yeah, yeah. They are not uh, doing so much mm-hmm. of those um, crazy layering and things like that. We'll try to look out for that in their newer arrangements, especially the Evergreen Experience ones, because that's when we know that they have sort of like upgraded or brought their production to 2020s. Right? <laughs> yeah, because layering helps to, you know, build mm-hmm. more of a fuller, more interesting sound. Whereas their older arrangements are very strictly five voices and you know body percussion and things mm-hmm. like that. He I does. Th- I feel he does. I think they cut out they a cut part. They cut out, right? Yeah. yeah, they cut out the part. They cut out a part because I remember Kevin saying, Shall I play for you? Yeah, so they cut this part out. They went straight into this. They cut this entire section also. Is yeah, it? I uh, I know they came in straight with uh, with, with Matt. Is it a cat or is it cat? Oh no, that's that. That's that. Right, okay. okay. Alright, guys. So that is our reaction for today because we can hear our son screaming and yelling from downstairs. So that was our reaction to one bit of the Evergreen Experience by Pentatonix. If you guys enjoyed that, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!